Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do these lovely tie-dye um, gel nail arts with jamboree wraps. These jamboree wraps are called Fine China and they do have a gel polish top coat. Um, so I'll explain to you how we do the gel polish on top of jamborees as well as how to do this design. What you're going to need to do your jamboree nails is some alcohol, alcohol prep, lint free wipe. Um, you can get these comboed from Jamboree in a Jamboree prep wipe. Um, a cuticle pusher, little pair of scissors, a very gritty nail file, your Jamboree wraps and a buffer. So what you want to do first is prep your nails. So what you're going to do is take your cuticle pusher and push your cuticles back so you've got no um, skin left on your nails. If you've got any skin, your wraps aren't going to stick and they're going to start to lift. Um, so you go around all of your, your cuticles, even on the ones where you're going to do gels later because you don't want any skin on those nails either. So then the next thing you're going to do is use your buffing block and just use some little circular motions to buff your nails. That way the wraps and the gel are going to stick to your nails. If you don't, then you're not going to have a surface in which they can stick to. So then what you're going to do is take your lint-free pad and your alcohol wipe. I've just used one by Gelux. And take all the horrible dust. Oh, I'm a bit out of focus. All the horrible dust and any other residue off your nails. You don't want any grease or anything like that. So let's go on to the tutorial. Usually when you're doing a jamboree nail art, uh, you're going to lift the wrap up like I have here and chop it in half to fit your natural nail. But because I'm using some false nails to show you, I'm going to use a whole wrap. So what I'm going to do, uh, I've prepped it by buffing it with the buffer and using the alcohol wipe just to wipe off the residue. Next thing I'm going to do is pick up the whole of this with on my cuticle pusher. You do not want to touch any of the wrap. If you do, it's not going to stick properly to your nail. So after that, you're going to pick it up and heat it up on a heater. You could use a toaster, oven, just be careful, um, hair dryer. I would say get yourself one of these lovely jamboree heaters they can just stand up by themselves and they don't overheat and they are pretty much the best heat source you can use for these lovely jamboree wraps so what i'm going to do next pick that up and show you how long to heat up for so you're going to turn your heater on and wait for about five seconds just until it's warm and you can feel it on your hand so with your jamboree wrap stuck to your cuticle pusher heat up in front one two three and it goes a bit floppy. It's the only way I can sort of describe it. So then you're going to go over to your fingers, place the wrap on the top like that. You're going to smooth it up all the way to the top, out to the side, out to the other side. Wait, my camera's a bit unfocused. And yes, it might be bubbly right now but we can sort that out in a minute. Okay so I'm just going to put it down and smooth it some more with my finger. Right so all I've done now is chop down the excess on the outsides. Um, you shouldn't really have any excess on the outsides because you choose a wrap that is actually smaller than your nail. I'll show you on mine here. So you see you've got a slither of nails showing on either, just can't really focus on that side, on either side. Um, so you want to trim it so you've got a tiny, tiny bit left at the top and then you're going to file it in a downward motion. So if you were doing it on your nails, you would file it down. Okay, so I'm going to do that to this nail and then get back to you. Right, so now I filed down the whole tip and you see that it is all smooth 
across the nail. What you're going to do next is take your buffing block again and just buff the surface of the wrap. You don't want to do it too much, otherwise it'll destroy the design and take off all the silicone. You want to do it just so it starts going a bit matte. That way, the when you put the gel polish on the top, it's going to stick to it. If you don't do it, it just peels off and it will not stick. So you need to do this before you apply any other gel polish. And again, use your lint-free wipe and your alcohol to wipe off any residue. So I'm going to do that now. So for my top coat and base coat, I'm going to use Blue Sky branded. This one is a gel polish non-wipe top coat, so it doesn't have a tacky layer on at all, and this is your base coat, and this will have a tacky layer on, but that doesn't really matter. So first of all, we're going to apply the base coat and cap the top free edge, and then we're going to go in and apply the gel polish top coat on top of the base coat. Okay, so you're just going to take your base coat and apply a thin layer to the whole of the wrap. Only a very thin layer you need, otherwise it gets too thick. And always don't forget to cap 